What's the difference between Eclipse the Queen of Darkness and Crescenta the Eager? This girl ran because she was being forced into a marriage to an abusive man. This girl, played by the rules, did not hide the fact that she was a candy-coated fascist and bought a lot of e elections and was very corrupt. The only real difference is Crescenta, by the way, definitely in love with the monster and a member of the Alphabet Mafia. The only thing is her buddy-buddy, Emily, of the mer Merfolk, was an ally of Uni. And Crescenta used magic like a stimulant to eat, sleep, keep awake constantly so that she can make all these crazy spells. Literally 500 volumes of spells that don't aren't actually helpful and very dangerous to anyone using them. And even Star thought that she gave off weird vibes. We can thank her for the love of Tato spell, but that's it. Meanwhile, Eclipse's spells are much tamer. Uh, it's more or less Midnight Shriek. Um, more clear about what they're supposed to do. Make your enemy sleepwalk or fall asleep or just make them leave you alone. And while Eclipsa was honest and was just leaving with Shastaka, did not want Shastakan, uh, by the way, never really explained how Globgor ate. Honestly, I think he might have been just been put down and the family doesn't want to talk about it. We, in the universe, there are a bunch of other messed up queens in this family who rely on magic to be preppy or be the perfect image more than actually using their magic to help their people. There are more star butterflies in this family than Moon would like to admit. And you know what's even worse? S Crescenta, all her stuff was during peacetime, while Eclipse's was during a war. Literally, if Solaria, the monster carver, was her grandma, Crescenta would have made her proud because they're both walking hate crimes. Hate crimes, war crimes, whatever. Luckily, after her daughter Vina the Riddle, it, it all died down. 